Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I am going to review and unbox and we're going to test out and see how well it works this mouse right here from this brand, Surf On at Walmart. Um, and it's $9.88, which is a really good value. You can see that they have a variety of different mouses to choose from here, but for $9.88, this is the one that we decided to go with. It comes in two different colors here. We are going to go with the black one. So let's take this home and test it out and see how well it works. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and open up the packaging here. Um, probably just going to have to destroy it, it looks like. Oh, there we go. And then we have an instruction manual here. Let's take a quick peek at this. So this is the product guide. So just make sure to read through all of this information. It will tell you what you need to know about the mouse and how to hook it up. So um, let's take a look here. Here is the mouse. Um, and, you know, it feels... Uh, just like you would expect a mouse to feel. So um, it's got five different buttons here. Um, we got a button here, a button here, one here, one here, and then one in the scroll wheel there as well. So, um, and then we have the receiver part here. And here's what that looks like. Um, and I like these that, you know, it's really, um, uh, you know, slim down here so it doesn't stick out of your laptop or computer too much. Um, and then we have the two uh, Energizer AAA batteries here. So, okay, so here's the bottom of the mouse and it has an on off switch here. So I'm going to turn that to off so we can install the batteries here in just a minute. Um, and then it has a connect button here too. So if the mouse doesn't automatically connect to your laptop or your computer, um, you can use this connect button to uh, try to help it to connect to the receiver here. Um, and then to install the battery. So let's um, get these out of the plastic here. There's that one and that one. And there's just a little um, slot right here. Um, where you can lift off the top of the mouse. That's pretty cool. I'm going to set that down there. Okay, so if you look right in here um, on each of the areas where the batteries go, um, it tells us which direction the batteries go. And this side of the battery does have to go into the mouse first. So we can see on this side that the plus sign side goes down in here first. So we're going to take uh, this battery and make sure that the plus sign side goes down into the mouse first. Um, and then you can push down and then this side of the battery, um, you just want to push in until it seats into place. And then on this side here, it's the minus sign that goes down into uh, the mouse first. So we're going to do that like so. Um, and then you can push down a little bit. It's spring like a spring there that allows you to do that um, until we can fit this battery into the mouse and then seat it all the way into place like so. Um, and then we're going to take our cover here, and this just fits right back onto the mouse, like so. And it fits on there pretty easily. Um, it did not take a lot of force or anything to get it off or on. And so I'll take it off again just so you can see it. Um, and then when putting it on, um, just line it up, and then it just seats right down into place, like so. Okay, so um, now let's go ahead and hook this up to my laptop and let's see how well it works. Okay, so now we're going to hook up the USB receiver part of the mouse to my laptop here. And let me turn this this way just so you guys can see um, where I'm going to install this just into one of my USB ports here. Um, and we're just going to put that in like so. And let's see if the mouse will connect automatically. And look at that, setting up device. We're setting up 2.4 uh, gigahertz wireless mouse, I think is what that said before it um, scrolled away. Um, so now let me get a better view of the mouse and the laptop and let's see how well it works. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and we'll turn the mouse on. 
and um, I'm just using it on this table here, which has like a slightly reflective surface. Um, I'm not using a mouse pad or anything like that. Let's see how well it works on this first, um, and then we'll move to a mouse pad if needed. But, um, oh, look at that. Device is ready. 2.4 gigahertz wireless mouse is set up and ready to go. Um, so I did it automatically. I didn't need to do anything with the uh, connect button. And it's moving really well, just like you'd expect a mouse to move. Um, you know, I can right click there, pulls up my uh, menu here. Okay, so then here is with a mouse pad. And to me, it works um, equally as well on the mouse pad as it did on the table here. And I think it just depends on the surface. I know if you try to use it on something that's really reflective, um, you know, optical mouses um, usually have an issue with that and won't work as intended. Um, it's also defaulted to, um, you know, a pretty, pretty fast mouse speed here. Um, so depending on if you like that or don't like it, you can always change the cursor speed um, to be slower or faster. And if you do want to do that, just go to your search bar um, on your computer down here um, and you would type in uh, mouse settings. Um, and then once you go into the mouse settings, you can change your cursor speed to be either slower or faster, whatever you want it to be. Okay, so I am going to turn the mouse off here for a second, and then I'll turn it back on. Um, and when you turn the mouse back on, there is a green LED indicator light right here that will come on for 10 seconds. And if the green LED indicator light is flashing for 10 seconds, that means that that's a low battery warning and that the two AAA batteries inside of the mouse are going to need to be replaced soon. And if the green LED indicator light just continues to flash, it means that the mouse is trying to pair with the wireless USB connector. And battery life on the mouse will vary depending on how you use it and how frequently you use it. Uh, but in order to prolong the battery life, you can turn it to the off position when you're not using it. And hopefully that will help the two AAAs inside of the mouse last that much longer. All right, guys, well, in my opinion, this is a nice mouse for the money. Um, I like how it feels in my hand. It's easy to use. Um, you know, it has the five different buttons on it. Um, you know, it has the scroll wheel. It's really well priced uh, for what you get. Um, and it works well, as we saw. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.